Nairobi Hospital has once again found itself in the thick of management wrangles, this time stirred by a stinging editorial written by a board member in the dailies. The incessant infighting among top managers and board members is now threatening the existence of one of the country's top private hospitals, as Anita Nkonge now tells us. On the 14th of October, Nairobi Hospital board member Robert Shaw penned a critical opinion editorial titled A Hospital Split Personality and the Many Unanswered Questions on the Management and State of Affairs at the Hospital. A disciplinary board meeting resolved to pass a light punishment to Shaw for breaching Article 45 of the Memorandum and Articles of Association. Additionally, they say that Shaw violated his duty of confidentiality as directed to the company and as a result brought prejudice to the company. Shaw, on the other hand, claims that the meeting was illegally constituted and should have instead been held by the members of the Kenya Hospital Association if he was truly wrong. The article in question cited Shaw calling out what he called numerous flaws of governance within the institution, including the issue of tender selections. This is not the first time that the private hospital is dealing with rifts within its core management. New chief executive of the hospital, Alan Pamba, was fired seven months into his appointment. Some members claimed that they were not consulted by Chairman Irungu Dirangu on the decision. Pamba had taken over as CEO after the controversial sacking of Dr. Gordon Odundo. The matter is still in court. Earlier in the year, Dirangu revealed that under the previous board, billions of shillings were lost. It was finally allowed by a court of law and in a special general meeting of 27 of November 2019, a new board was installed. Anita Nkonge, NTV.